Hi there, I'm John Mendez and this is another of our how-tos. This time we're doing mooring buoys. Now we've covered this topic before with a much larger twin engine boat and with crew. But today I'm just going to do it on my own because quite often you're boating with some friends who are not boat friendly and there isn't anybody who's actually helpful as crew. In fact, they make things worse. So being able to do things on your own is pretty handy. So to pick up a mooring buoy on my own, we can do two ways. They have the same but slightly different. I've rigged the line from our bow and brought it all the way down to the rear of the cockpit. And I'm going to reverse the boat up by just gently bringing the boat into the elements with the stern and on this side, starboard side too, because that's where my access to the stern is. And I'm going to take that bow line and thread it through. Now, if it was just for a short stay, I can make both ends off on the stern cleat and just hang stern to the elements. Great for a short stop in nice conditions. But if there's any chop or swell and you think not happy, I can use that line which is from the bow and just gently pull and the boat will rotate and we'll end up bow to the elements. I can make it off on the other cleat and we're nice and safe and we'll be into those elements. The nice advantage is that I only have to go on the fore deck once to organise the line and then when I go back up with the line to just reattach it. I'm not spending lots of time on the fore deck, which you often do with crew. So it's much easier and tends to be a bit safer. So we found a pretty little cove to go and pick up a mooring buoy. And I'm just assessing that the wind is coming gently out of the little cove at the top end. I've got the mooring buoy just off my bow at the moment. And I'm just doing an approach. There's not a lot of tide, but what there is is coming towards me. A little bit of breeze is coming towards me. So I'm just thinking about how am I going to make my approach. Now, because I want to approach with the stern of the boat, I'm going to turn the boat a little bit before I get to the buoy so that then I can flick the stern up towards the actual mooring. So I've approached with it just off my starboard bow. The wind is just trying to gently push me in this direction. So I'm going to have a little bit of wheel support and a little click of a head. So I'm pushing my bow downwind. Now I'm going to very gently just a little click of a stern with a little bit of wheel. A fraction more wheel. I can see the buoy there nicely. And have one more little click. Coming in there quite nicely. One last click. And now I can use the boat hook or I can get my boat really nice and close. So we're just coming in there gently. I'm going to have one tiny click of a head now. Then I can just walk sternwards. It's not too windy today, so I can now actually physically hold the buoy. There's the end of my line. Thread it through. And if I was just doing a short little stop, I can literally that wouldn't be enough to hold me properly, but make off on the stern of the boat. No problem whatsoever. So if I was going to moor properly stern to, I'd have a line from my stern cleat through this and back on. So having threaded the line through, all I'm going to do is just very gently walk it forward. And as I walk forward, that makes the mooring buoy move down the side of the boat. And then most importantly, I've got to go round the aerial. It'd be very embarrassing to pull the aerial off. And just as I gently keep easing it in, the boat will keep rotating she'll come round ever so nicely. This one's really nice, we've got a step through screen. Makes it really quite pleasant. Walk up. And there's no rush. Plenty of time. Okay, now on this boy, I've gone through that big center cleat because the uh, pickup line's all a bit rusted and insecure. Now I'm gonna go round the bow with the line so literally just take a big armful, big flick so it doesn't catch on the anchor. And now I want to come back in on the port side. So the most important thing under the rails, whole turn, 
figure of eight, another figure of eight. Nice little pull, bring all the excess through, have a quick tidy. And with a bit of practice, you can do this really quite quickly and simply. The other joy is that when we want to leave, all I've got to do is undo this side, pull on this one, the line will go through the loop on the top of the buoy, and I'm free. Just got to walk back inside and drive off. 